What's up, hoarders? I decided to make this video because there's been a lot of confusion about carburetors and cleaning them and why your bike won't start in the springtime. So there's been a lot of misunderstanding of how carburetors work. We've got three major carbs that are we'll, we'll find on our, our bikes. There's a CV, constant velocity carburetor, a throttle plate, and a throttle slide. We're going to be reviewing a throttle slide from an 86 250R. And I'm going to go through the whole carburetor and explain to you why a carb does what it does. My beautiful bride is videotaping me right now, so let's get in here and I'll explain how this carburetor works. So a carburetor is actually a, a very simple piece of equipment on your bike. You got a big throttle, you got a big opening and a small opening. So what happens with the carburetor is the air coming in is squeezed down and speeds up. It's called a Venturi effect. So with a Venturi effect, what's happening is the air speeding up and coming through here is creating a low pressure. Physics says that a high pressure which would be in your fuel bowl, always seeks a low pressure. So the fuel is down here is going, I want to go party with the low guys and travels up through your jets into the Venturi effect, then into the engine. I've already taken this carburetor apart. I bought this one for parts because I had a, a malfunction with my carburetor on my quad. But we'll take a quick minute here talk about the float get this pin back in okay so your float I don't know if you can see that in the video but this is the float right here it determines your fuel level in the bowl so when the if you get a bike you open up the gas turn the gas on and it starts spewing gas out of everywhere every orifice on the carburetor that float is stuck so you can see that when it gets to a point, it shuts, and then it opens. If you're spewing fuel, okay, so the bowl will fill up. Once it gets past the level of the float, it goes into this tube, and then dumps out the, your overflow drain. If it gets too high, I've never seen this personally, but it can come out of these ports too. <clears throat> but these are atmospheric bleeds into the car into the car bowl so if you got a carburetor when you're turning your gas on spewing oil or gas out of this tube the float stuck take it apart clean you can take this pin out then your float comes out that's what the float is it's got a little rubber nipple on it that seats against the seat of the the float chamber here that stops the uh, gas from coming up, coming out. Again, if it's spewing gas, once you turn the gas on in the spring, this is all gummed up. Take it apart, clean this out, you'll be good to go. So as I was saying, carburetor simple, air comes in, goes out faster, venturi effect. There's three circuits to a carburetor. Idle, mid-range, high-end. Again, this is from an 86 250R. You can follow the circuits. So this is your idle, this is your main, and your mid-range is actually in the, the needle jet that's in the slide. So as the slide's going up, can you see in there? As the slide's going up, the needle's tapered. So as it pulls out of the main jet, then you let more fuel in. 10 times out of 10, you get a bike that has been sitting that won't idle. It's in the idle circuit itself. This is an idle jet. I've already loosened this up. 
and you probably will not be able to see this on camera, it's tiny. Literally a hair diameter is all this goes through that. These will always get plugged up on a bike that won't start after being sitting all winter long or sitting for some time. But again, back to the, the uh, basics of how the carb works, you can follow, follow the circuit. So the air comes in here, it goes down this passageway up through the needle at the idle jet out that hole right there so when you're taking the car apart to clean it especially if the bike won't idle put right clean don't use carb clean that's nonsense make sure the air or fluid comes out of all of these passages make sure that you can see daylight through this if you can't see daylight through this it's not going to idle. So 250Rs are kind of special in a way because they have their own idle and choke circuit. So the choke comes in and takes its air in here, runs through this passageway, and comes out here. This is the only bike that I know of that adjusts the idle with choke knob so when you pull the choke up it opens that passageway with the throttle closed so choke is technically an enrichener so it's providing more fuel to the engine while it's cold same aspect the 250Rs you turn them to adjust your idle what, that, what that's doing is allowing air to come through this hole, come through this hole, and being metered by that needle. So as you turn it out, you increase your idle speed. As you turn it in, you slow it down. Like I was saying with the slide, this is a, the parts carb that I got. That's what was wrong with the other one. This is a cable retainer wouldn't stick. As the throttle plate opens, you see the needle getting smaller? That's when your main circuit comes into play. Your main jet is this one. As that comes up, that's your interme intermediate circuit. So your intermediate circuit begins at the tip to there. As it slides up, it allows, allows more fuel in. Once you're wide open, then this is your main jet. So that's carb 101 for tonight. This is a, a, a throttle slide carb from a 250R. I'll do another one for a throttle plate on the smaller three-wheeler and one for a CV, which stands for constant velocity, which is adjust for barometric pressure with a rubber diaphragm. Stay tuned.